Now there's another bit of um, um, channel operation that we need to define, which is the one where we where we or over two channels, which is when we merge values coming into uh, coming from two different channels. So we're just gonna go back to our concurrency util. And the same way we define partition, we're gonna go and define the or. So this is gonna be or, and usually we say other, and it's gonna be a channel of a different type, uh, K, and the return channel, the return type is gonna be channel of T or K, because we are merging values from two different uh, different channels and one has type T and the other one is type K, so the merge channels are gonna have type that could be one or the other. And what we'll do is remember to say for all K, we don't need to do for all T because T is defined as a time per type parameter on the abstract class at the top. So there we go. And so what this looks like is we are going to do what we usually do, which is we define a new channel of type K or T and we tap on that channel this is going to be called output stream and then on the output stream let's see how what does this look like we're going to use a pretty interesting um, a static function on channel uh, which is channel dot receive first and channel dot receive first takes the two or more arguments uh, which will be self and other and what this does is it waits for either of these channels to generate a value so it's like receiving on both the channels and then the first one that receives um, it's going to return the value through to the channel receive first which is exactly what we need at this point because we have values being streamed from both the channels and what we do is we say just give me the first value that comes in from each one of them so and as I say this, you can you realize how I need to actually put this inside a spawn do because we want this to be running in a different in a different fiber. And also because we want to loop over uh, values from both the channels, we actually need a loop do. Um, to encapsulate this. Uh, and so again, what we're doing here is we're receiving the first value coming in from either self or other so the left or the right uh, hand side um, a channel on the or and then what we do is just we we take the output stream and pass the value in so we do output stream dot send channel receive first self or other as easy as this now there's a slight complication here we're gonna what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be rescuing on channel closed error and I'm gonna make my life a bit uh, I'm going to be cheating a bit here. I'm going to just say that whenever we receive a channel closure, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be closing the downstream channel. So out, output stream dot close. Why is this not exactly ideal? Well, because we are doing an OR between the two the two channels. It's very likely that well, it's um, feasible that one of them will close and the other one will stay open. So there's a, a there might be an understanding from the user point of view that if one of the two channels closes, then we're just going to be uh, keeping on list. We just keep on listening to the other channel. In this case, with this particular imp implementation, all we do is we rescue on the closed uh, error, and whenever that closed error is um, is thrown, we just close the downstream channel. Which means we might be losing some of the values from one of the two uh, from one of the two uh, upstream uh, channels which is not ideal. But again, we're just making our life a bit simpler. I'll, I'll leave it to you to think about how we can make sure we're actually handling uh, the closure of one of the channels and then we'll just keep in, uh, we'll just keep on streaming values from the other channel until that closes too. And only then we, um, we close the downstream channel. So now that we have both of these uh, functions defined, we can try and see if this compiles and then focus on the moving average. So to recap, looking at the looking at our main, we're not doing much at the moment. What we do is we have our usual status stream coming from the status checker. We're gonna get successes and failures. And then what we do is we actually partition the two into a success stream and a failure stream. And at the moment, we're literally not doing anything. We're just 
then merging the channels back again, which is not which is not um, really clever, is it? So, and as you can see, everything compiles. We can assume that things are fine. I've got a control C here. Uh, everything um, turns off gracefully. Uh, as I mentioned, we might want to perfect the implementation of the OR um, operation between channels. But for now, let's let's focus on uh, on the on the gist of the of the session, which is defining a moving average uh, function processor that will compute the average response time of our request whenever there's a success.